we can take a much closer look at Enid on the biology bus. Hop in, squirrels. <laughs> Time to set the microscopic ray to... Miniaturize. Whoa! We're tiny! Oh, yes, tiny enough to find out what's making Enid so spluttery. Meow. Now, if you look ahead, you can see Enid's brain. Ooh. Whenever she feels something, the synapses in her brain fire up. Woof! Wow! Based on all this cognitive activity, I'd say Enid is doing something very complex. Wow! Where are we now? We're currently passing Enid's eyes. Ooh. Cats have powerful eyesight for hunting prey. Wow. And nasal receptors for smelling things. <laughs> and, of course, vocal cords for purring. It's dark down here. A wolf. Blood cells. They're a bit... Bloopy. Yes, but they help move oxygen around Enid's body. <laughs> Pumped by her heart. And when she gets excited... <laughs> her heart starts beating faster. <laughs> which means her lungs have to work hard to get more oxygen into her body. Now she's getting her breath back. <laughs> Trip! 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 Oh, dear, Trip. Dougie. You didn't quite turn Trip. off the tap. Oh, Trip. wolf. Trip! Oh, but I like water. Yes, Happy, but we can't waste it. Wolf! It won't run out. The tap will make more. No, Norrie. The tap doesn't make water. Whales make water. <laughs> yeah! Then it balances on jellyfish. <laughs> Over the sea. The little bugs catch it in little buckets. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> And put it in the tap. That's right. Um, that's not exactly it, squirrels. Huh? Then where does water come from? Oh, woof, woof. Well, Dougie can show you. He has his water badge. Water? Everyone loves water. <laughs> Woof, 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 woof. That's right, Dougie. The water we drink starts in the sea. Oh, the sea. It's so big and blue and wavy and wet. <laughs> so is this the water we drink, Dougie? Oh. No, Dag. It's not ready to drink yet. When is it ready, Dougie? Ooh. Well, first the sun has to do its job. The sun? Oh, well. When the sun heats the sea, little drops of it go up and up into the sky. And can you guess what they turn into? Birds! <clears throat> no, really. No, no. They, they turn into a... Cloud! Woof! Wow! Look at us! We're clouds too! We're so fluffy and light! <laughs> We're moving! We're moving! Three, two, one! Wow! Look! There's Mercury! There's Venus! There's Mars! And Jupiter! And Saturn, too! Yes, all the planets are out here. 
so much space. For playing. Yay! <laughs> Where's the space playground, Dougie? Uh, what? Um, there are no playgrounds in space, Skittles. Huh? Paddling pools? Woof. Bouncy castles? Woof. Tree houses? Woof. Toilet? Oh, woof. But there are lots of other things. Amazing things. Oh, woof. Like the Milky Way. Is it made of milk? No, Dag, it just looks a bit milky. Oh, woof, woof. Ah, yes, the asteroid belt. <laughs> <laughs> and cosmic comets. Magnificent. Wow. And here, near the end of the solar system, is Pluto. Whoa. Are we going back now? Oh, woof. But we haven't seen anyone yet. Well, nobody's sure if there is anyone else in space, Betty. But what about aliens? Little green aliens? Or big purple ones? Or really weird ones? Or little cute ones? Or invisible ones? Well, space goes on and on. How far? Nobody knows. So there could be other creatures out there. Hey, Dougie! What are you doing? Oh, wow. We're going to play with a ball? That's not very futury. <gasps> Future ball! Fish. You don't see many of them around. Ah, yes. And there. Crazy Coral Junction. Isn't this amazing, Squirrels? Squirrels? Oh. Oh. Um, uh, be careful with those button squirrels. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself, Roly. I'm not insured. <laughs> well, 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 well. <gasps> Lovely to see you showing an interest tag, but this is quite fragile. to the screen, Happy. Oh, this is our sonar. Ooh. When it makes lots of noise, it tells us that something is really close to the submarine. Oh! Something is really close. Shall we see what it is? Yeah! Ah! 
It's a school of fish. A school of fish? I'm the youngest. I think we should learn all day. Hello! Hello! Who are you? The squirrels. <laughs> what are you doing? We're on our school outing. This is our teacher, Mr. Guppy. <laughs> it's lovely that you've all made friends, but maybe it's time we headed back. Come on, squirrels. Say goodbye, please. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. He thinks he's the best. What's this? Oh. A woof, woof. Wow, a fossil. Um, excuse me, what's a fossil? That's a big question, Roly. But Dougie can explain. A woof. Because he has his fossil badge. A woof, woof, woof. A woof, woof, woof. Yes, fossils were made a long time ago. When primitive creatures walked the earth. Huh? Oh, woof, woof. Oh, sorry, Dougie. You're right. We should start much further back. When the only living creatures were in the sea. Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Oh, and sometimes like incredible things happened, sea. like blizzards. <laughs> Ha-ha! Or volcanoes. Ho ho! Or great sandstorms. Uh oh. And then that creature would be stuck for a really, really long time. Oh boy! So this was once a little creature. Woof! And it's really old? Yes, Roly. Really, really old. It takes millions of years to turn it into a fossil. Oh. Hey, old Daddy! We dug up a fossil. A wolf? Ooh. Are there any more fossils? Oh, yes, Snorri. Fossils can be made from any creature that lived a really long time ago. Ones that lived in the sea, or ones that crawled out of the sea. Small ones that flew, or big ones that walked. Big ones that walked? Are you talking about dinosaurs? Yes, Betty. <laughs> hey, Dougie! What are you doing? A wolf! They're leaves. Dougie collects them. Aren't they pretty? Yeah. You must really like leaves. A wolf? Yes, Dougie even has his leaf badge. Wow! But where's that leaf, Dougie? <sighs> wolf. That's the only leaf Dougie can't find. <laughs> what does it look like? <sighs> <laughs> it looks like a rainbow. Yes, Happy. That's the rainbow leaf. It's a very special leaf and very hard to find. <gasps> Can we help you find it, Dougie? Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled for that rainbow leaf, squirrels. <gasps> rainbow leaf! <gasps> huh? Do you mind? Sorry. <laughs> Not the rainbow leaf. I found it. <gasps> <laughs> Is this the rainbow leaf, Dougie? A woof, woof. A woof. It's a tiger leaf. Aww. Oh, it's still a very good leaf, though. <clears throat> Come on, let's keep looking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Is this rainbow leaf, Ducky? Oh, woof. That's a palm leaf. The biggest one I've ever seen. I don't think that'll fit in the nature book, Dougie. <laughs> oh, woof. <laughs> Do fish have noses? Oh, woof. You don't know. A woof. But we can find the answer. A woof. In a book. Which one? Well, let's look at the animal section. <laughs> and find the one beginning with F. Four. Fifty-five fun fishy facts. A wolf. Now, let's see if the book will answer your question. It says here they have very small noses for smelling food. You see, Dougie's library had the answer. What's a library? A wolf? It says here that a library is a collection of books that you can borrow and read. Who borrows your books, Dougie? Oh, woof, woof. No one, but they might have questions that need answers. It says here that you can take books around by making this. A library on wheels. And it says here in the Squirrel Club book... ...that on your left arm, third row down... ...you have a library badge. And can help. Well, then, let's make a mobile library. Finished! Oh, your library looks wonderful, Squirrels. It's a disaster! Uh, hi, Tino. Are you OK? No. I've lost touch with my inner artiste. I simply cannot capture the equine spirit. Huh? I can't draw a horse! Maybe one of our library books can help. Why, it's a very peckish pony. I read this book as a teeny tiny teeny bambino. The boldness of colour, the audacious simplicity. This book has reminded me my art isn't about realism, but feeling. Oh, perfection! Woof, 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 woof. Woof, 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 woof. Cookie lived in a tree? A woof. <laughs> That's funny. A woof. A woof, 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 woof. Oh, Cookie's waking up. A woof, 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 woof. She's putting on her favourite shirt. <laughs> A woof, 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 woof. Cookie's putting on her sock. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. Oh, Cookie's putting on her other sock. Has she got her shoes on yet? Woof, 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 woof. <gasps> woof, 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 woof. Now she's got her shoes on. A woof, 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 woof. Ooh, it's time for Cookie's breakfast squirrels. Oh. Uh. A woof, 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 woof. Woof, woof. Oh, look, squirrels. Cookie's found a lovely, juicy leaf. For her breakfast. A woof. Oh, but the leaf is too high for her to reach. Dinosaur can help her. Huh? I don't think there are any dinosaurs in this story, really. Well, there should be. Yeah, Dinosaur could be her friend. And she wants breakfast too. Yeah. yeah. But they don't want leaves. They want... Popcorn! But the princess has taken it all. Wow! What a good idea, Happy. The dressing up box. Yay! <laughs> 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 I am Brilliant Girl. And this is... You have to have a super squirrel name if you want to be a super squirrel tag. Oh, OK. Um... Hmm... I am Super Tag! I'm Mega Mouse. Splash! What's your name, Rolly? 
Roly. It has to be a special name, Roly, not your own. Stephen! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Squirrel Squad, let's go do something super. That sounds super fun, doesn't it, Dougie? Woof! Oh, woof, woof, woof! Detective Poppy is really good at looking for clues. Yeah, she found a blue handprint. Is that a good clue, Dougie? Woof! Yes, everyone has different handprints. So if Detective Puppy finds out whose it is, she'll find out... Who's been naughty? A woof woof, a woof woof. Could it be Detective Puppy's arch nemesis? Shelly, the turtle? Or Mumbles, the fly? Or was it Fluffy, the cat burglar? Look, Detective Puppy knows who did it. Who, who, who? Well... In the comic, it says, Woof, woof. To be continued. Where? In the next issue, of course. Oh, woof. What? There isn't one. A woof, woof. They stopped making Detective Puppy comics. Why? Well, tastes changed. People didn't want detective stories anymore. They wanted comics that were more action-packed, fantastical, futuristic, and shiny. But I really want to know... Who took the necklace? Oh, woof, woof, woof. Excellent idea, Dougie. Maybe you could finish the story yourselves. But how do we make a comic? Ah, Dougie can show you, because he has... his comic badge. Yay! Woof! To make our detective puppy comic, a woof, woof, we first need to work out who took the necklace. It says here that mythical creatures are amazing animals with special powers, like the dragon, who can breathe fire. Wow! Or Medusa, who turns anyone who looks at her... Who are you staring at? ...into stone. Ooh! Some mythical creatures were a combination of different animals. Like the centaur, who has hooves and hands. Yeah! Or the mermaid, an enchanting creature of sea and land. Are they real? Some people think so. What other mythical creatures are there? A wolf. There's the unicorn. The most beautiful mythical creature. I really am. Oh! The werewolf, La Bella Lunar! The Sphinx! No. The Griffin! To wait! Gnomes! No, 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 no. Trolls! <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, and. Oh, there's nothing here. <gasps> Maybe we can make up our own mythical creature. How about a dog? Huh? And giraffe! A dog giraffe! Is that a mythical creature? Uh, oh. What about a fish? Now you're a giraffe fish! And cow! Um. And bird! Cowbird! No! Cow gerbil! Oof! And Here! is a blueprint of John and Nigel's house. A wolf! And this pepper pot represents Nigel. While Nigel is in the bathroom, we will assemble outside at exactly 12.11. When's 12.11? A wolf! When it says it on your watch. It says it on your watch? Oh, wait. You don't know how to tell the time, do you? No! Well, Dougie can show you. He has his telling time badge. 
a wolf. You see, on a watch, the big numbers from one to twelve are the hours in the day. And the little numbers are the minutes in each hour. What are the arrow things? They're called hands. The small hand points to what hour it is. Twelve! And the long hand points to what minute? Ten! Oh, you've cracked it! <laughs> Now listen very carefully. At that time, we will all be outside John's house synchronizing our watches. Does everyone remember the plan? Yes! At exactly 12.15, when Nigel is in the bathroom, John will let Nori and I into the house, where we'll sneak down the hallway with the decorations. At 12.29, while Nigel is loudly eating his into the living room. Then at 12.45 precisely, Rolly will ring the doorbell. In disguise! Delivery! Meanwhile, I will enter with party food and sneak into the kitchen, followed silently by Dougie. We can take a much closer look at Enid on the biology bus. Hop in, squirrels! Yay! <laughs> Time to set the microscopic ray to... Miniaturize! Whoa! We're tiny! Oh! Yes, tiny enough to find out what's making Enid so spluttery. Meow. Now, if you look ahead, you can see Enid's brain. Ooh. Whenever she feels something, the synapses in her brain fire up. Woof! Wow! Based on all this cognitive activity, I'd say Enid is doing something very complex. Wow! Where are we now? We're currently passing Enid's eyes. Ooh! Cats have powerful eyesight for hunting prey. And nasal receptors for smelling things. <laughs> and, of course, vocal cords for purring. It's dark down here. A wolf! Ew, what are those? Blood cells. They're a bit... <laughs> Bloopy? Yes, but they help move oxygen around Enid's body. <laughs> Pumped by her heart. And when she gets excited... <laughs> her heart starts beating faster. <laughs> which means her lungs have to work hard to get more oxygen into her body. Now she's getting her breath back. <laughs> Oh, dear, Dougie. You didn't quite turn off the tap. Oh, Wolf. Trip. Oh, but I like water. Yes, Happy, but we can't waste it. Wolf. It won't run out. The tap will make more. No, Norrie. The tap doesn't make water. Whales make water. <laughs> Then it bounces on jellyfish <laughs> over the sea. The little bugs catch it in little buckets. <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> and put it in the tap. That's right. Um, that's not exactly it, squirrels. Huh? <gasps> then where does water come from? A woof, woof. Well, Dougie can show you. He has his water badge. Water? Everyone loves water! <laughs> woof, 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 woof. That's right, Dougie. The water we drink starts in... 
the sea. Oh, the sea. It's so big and blue and wavy and wet. <laughs> <laughs> so is this the water we drink, Dougie? No, Dag. It's not ready to drink yet. When is it ready, Dougie? Oh. Well, first the sun has to do its job. The sun? Oh, well, when the sun heats the sea, little drops of it go up and up into the sky. And can you guess what they turn into? Birds! <clears throat> no, really. No, no. They, they turn into a... Cloud! Woof! Wow! Look at us! We're clouds too! We're so fluffy and light! <laughs> We're moving! We're moving! Wow! Look! There's Mercury! There's Venus! There's Mars! And Jupiter! And Saturn too! Yes! All the planets are out here! So much space! For playing! Yay! <laughs> Where's the space playground, Dougie? Uh, woof. Um, there are no playgrounds in space, Skiddles. Huh? Paddling pools? Woof. Bouncy castles? Woof. Tree houses? Woof. Toilet? Oh, woof. Uh... But there are lots of other things. Amazing things. Oh, woof. Like the Milky Way. Is it made of milk? No, Dag, it just looks a bit milky. Oh, woof, woof. Ah, yes, the asteroid belt. <laughs> <laughs> and cosmic comets. Magnificent. Wow. And here, near the end of the solar system, is Pluto. Whoa. Now. Oh, but we haven't seen anyone yet. Well, nobody's sure if there is anyone else in space, Betty. But what about aliens? Little green aliens? Or big purple ones? Or really weird ones? Or little cute ones? Or invisible ones? Well, space goes on and on. How far? Nobody knows. So there could be other creatures out there somewhere. Oh, woof, woof, woof. Some artists are inspired by their passions, like... Teapots. Carrots, man. <laughs> what are you passionate about, Rolly? <gasps> That a rock? Yep. Huh? Finished. Hmm. You're passionate about potatoes. <sighs> we still need inspiration, Dougie. Oh, woof, woof, woof. Yes. Sometimes you can find inspiration closer to home by using. <laughs> Your nose. <laughs> your mouth. <laughs> I did an art. Your whole body. Inspiration! Inspiration! Huh? Finished! I am art. Beautiful, Betty. Ooh. But we still don't know what to do, Dougie. Woof, 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 woof. Sometimes you can find inspiration by looking at yourself. Someone else. Stop moving, Nigel. Or even something else. So conceptual, Boris. Yeah! Oh, I have an idea. <laughs> Finished. Ooh. Very impressive, Tag. Yay! Can we have a go? Oh, woof. It's a bit big. <gasps> I know. 
a bit hard to play. What can we play? Well, Dougie could help you make some instruments more your size. Oh, woof! Because he has his making music badge. Making music? A woof! Yay! <laughs> What have you made, squirrels? I made shadows. I made drums. A tubey thing. Blinky plonks. Balloon. Jolly good. I wonder what they sound like. Yeah. Ready? A one, a two. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Delivery. A wolf. What is it, Dougie? A wolf. A surprise. Well then, let's open it. A wolf. Oh, it's not anything. Just bits. It's a kit, squirrels. You have to fit all the bits together, like a jigsaw. We love jigsaws. Can we help, Dougie? Uh-huh. Yay! Where does this bit go, Dougie? Huh? Dougie! What about these? Uh... Dougie! What's this? Uh, um, uh? Where do these go? Uh? What about this stuff? Huh? Or this? Uh, All these. Uh, What's that? What? What's this? There. These. Where? What's how? Who? You need? What? Then how? Woof! I think Dougie needs a little space to make the surprise, Squirrels. OK. Let's go play. <laughs> Why is it taking so long? Yeah. I'll see how he's getting on. Huh? Is he finished? Nearly. What is it? Dunno. Hmm. Huh? <gasps> <sighs> Maybe it's time for a cup of tea, Dougie. Woof. What colour was it? Don't know. What did it look like? Don't know. How big was it? Uh, Dunno. Useless. I'm going to have a look. Me too. Me three. Me four. The right shapes have to go into the right holes. So, the rectangle shape will go... I know. In the rectangle hole. A woof! Me next. The triangle shape will go... In the triangle hole. Me, 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 me. The square shape will go... In the square hole. This is a tough one. It's a hexagon shape, Nori. Oh, then it must go... In the hexagon hole. I've 
got a funny shape. Does it go here or here? Does it go here or here? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that cloud. Do you think it might rain, Dougie? <gasps> we might get wet. <gasps> Let's play inside. OK. We could play snakes and ladders. Or sleeping gerbils. It's sleeping lions, Rolly. What's the matter, Nori? All the animals. Won't they get wet too? Mm -hmm. Yes. I suppose they will, Nori. Shall we find them somewhere to keep dry? Yes! I wonder where you could keep dry. <gasps> there! Just the right shape. Hmm. There. Just the right shape. Oh, I see. Just the right shape. Don't worry, little fish. I'm not. I'll keep you dry. I'd rather you didn't. Here you go. Just the right shape. Seriously. Great work, squirrels. Found some. Hola. I found a tortoise. I found... Hey, what are you looking at? Mice. And who's asking? Here's some. There. Ugh. Naughty monkeys. <laughs> step. 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 Frog. Ribbit. Footprint. 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 It's Ethel. Whose footprints are these? Hmm. Woof, woof. Ah, good idea, Dougie. The Encyclopedia of Animal Footprints. Is it the Parisian puma? No. The Himalayan hopping goat? No. The lesser spotted lounge lizard? No. The triple humped curly tailed camel? No. The bottle-nosed, biscuit-eating, bright blue baboon? No, 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 no! Hmm. I know. Let's follow them. Yay! Hmm. Oh, the footprints have stopped by this tree. There's somebody behind it. Not just somebody, darling. I am Katerina, a beautiful, graceful flamingo! <laughs> oh, dear. Why is Katerina so sad? I am star of Flamingo Synchronized Swimming Team. But I cannot perform in the big show because I have lost my flipper. Dougie has a woof, his history badge. And because there's so much of it, a woof, Dougie has made a special machine to help us see as much of it as possible. Ooh. Just pop in the coordinates. Now, time to see some. If Dougie's calculations are correct, we've arrived 500 million years before breakfast, when the first creature walked on land. Ooh, nice to get some fresh air <coughs> and lunch. Aw, it's so cute. Now, don't touch anything, squirrels. Why? Because it might affect the future. Oh. A wolf. Come on. Plenty more to see.
Dear Dougie, you didn't quite turn off the tap. Oh, Wolf. Trip. Oh, but I like water. Yes, Happy, but we can't waste it. Wolf. It won't run out. The tap will make more. No, Norrie. The tap doesn't make water. Whales make water. <laughs> Then it's balance, please. On jellyfish! <laughs> Over the sea! Then little bugs catch it in little buckets. <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> and put it in the tap. That's right! Um, that's not exactly it, squirrels. Huh? <laughs> then where does water come from? Oh, woof, woof. Well, Dougie can show you. He has his water badge. Water? Everyone loves water! <laughs> woof, 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 woof. That's right, Dougie. The water we drink starts in... The sea. Oh, the sea. It's so big and blue and wavy and wet. <laughs> <laughs> so is this the water we drink, Dougie? Oh. No, Dag. It's not ready to drink yet. When is it ready, Dougie? Oh. Well, first the sun has to do its job. The sun? Oh, well, when the sun heats the sea, little drops of it go up and up into the sky. And can you guess what they turn into? Birds! <clears throat> no, really. No, no. They, they turn into a... Cloud! Woof! Wow! Look at us! We're clouds too! We're so fluffy and light! <laughs> We're moving! We're moving! <laughs> Dougie's making a smoothie. <gasps> Can, Can we, we try, try it, Dougie? A wolf? Mmm! Um. Yuck! What's in it? A bit of this, a touch of that, but mostly. A wolf! Anchovies! They're little fish. Ugh, they're horrible. When I learn to write, I'm going to write down never ever to eat them ever again. Wrong. They're delicious. Now, no one is wrong. It's just a matter of taste. What's taste? Good question, Tag. Luckily, Dougie has his taste badge. He can explain. Ooh. <laughs> Woof, woof. Our tongues have tiny little bumps on them. There? These are called taste buds. These buds can pick up five different kinds of tastes. Woof. There's sweet, which is in foods such as ice cream, orange juice, chocolate, and jam. Ah, my sweet. I cannot get enough of you. Next up, woof. Sour. That you'll find in vinegar, yogurt, rhubarb, and lemon. Ooh, so tart! The next type of taste is a woof. Salty. Found in anchovies, bacon, nuts, and of course, salt. <coughs> but too much salt can be bad for you. Next is bitter, which include grapefruit, broccoli, coffee, and cabbage. And finally, umami. The savory taste of food like mushrooms, steak, soy sauce, and cheese. <laughs> Look, Doggy, I found a lovely puddle. A uh, what? Yes, 
Yes, maybe you shouldn't be standing in that puddle, Happy. Why? What's wrong with it? Well, Dougie can tell you, because he's got his puddle badge. Oh, woof, woof, woof. You see, there's more to a puddle than meets the eye. When a new puddle is made, it's clean and fine to play in. But as it gets older, algae grows on it. Algae? What's that? It's a kind of water plant which can make a puddle a bit smelly. Yeah. A wolf. <laughs> but also very attractive to lots of little creatures. Like me? Oh, much, much smaller than you, Happy. Are they invisible? No, just hard to see. Ooh. A lifetime of scientific research has suggested we need to communicate with this alien, not fight with it. We need to show it love, not hate. That plan's so crazy, Ace, it might just work! Let's do this. I hope that crazy professor's right about this. The whole of Mitch Kind is counting on the Ace! Happy? Uh, kind of. Uh, but it's a bit smelly. I think I've had enough of puddles for one day, Dougie. The green monster's leaving! Bye bye, green monster! We love you! Animals can eat in lots of different ways. Really? Luckily, Dougie has his eating badge and can explain. Oh, woof, woof, woof. Indeed, some animals eat slowly, like Cow, who chews her food all day long. All day? Yes, from when you arrive at Squirrel Club. <laughs> to when you leave. Oh. That's really slow. Oof! But other animals eat really quickly, like frog. Ooh. What about other animals, Dougie? Oh, oof, oof, oof! Well, goats are always hungry. So hungry! <laughs> Me too! <laughs> While some tortoises can go for a whole year without eating anything. <laughs> Are you gonna eat that? Oh, no, I'm full. I only just ate six months ago. And some animals... Oh, woof! Like giraffe, eat food that is very high up. And some animals eat food that is very low down. <gasps> like moles who dine deep underground, mm. feasting on grubs and bugs. Hey, where did it go? Oh, no. No. We'll have to go back to the shops. Oh, animals don't go to shops, Noddy. They have to find their own food. Oh, woof. Like this bird who catches its food and carries it in its beak back home to feed its babies. How would you like it? Where, please? Mmm. <coughs> Medium, please. <coughs> Just time for one more thing. <coughs> 